So you wake up on any given day, fix a light breakfast, determined to stick to your diet, make it through the work day, eating the meals you prepped, come home, eat a healthy dinner, hit your calories right on the money, another perfect day. Until about an hour later when you're sitting on the couch watching Netflix and all of a sudden all you can think about is how starving you are. And not for the leftover chicken in the fridge, but only for the three C's. The cookies, candy, and cereal stashed in the back of the cupboard. Sound familiar? You're not alone. But why does this happen? As crazy as it sounds, science has actually proven that our willpower, much like a muscle, gets more and more fatigued the more we exercise it throughout the day. This basically means we wake up with high levels of willpower, but the more things we say no to throughout the day, the harder it becomes to stay on track. In this video, I'll go over three strategies you can use to help curb these late night cravings. Strategy number one, keep your kitchen crap free. This is the obvious one, and I get that it's probably easier said than done to those who have kids running around the house. Still, the chances of you going to the kitchen and grazing at 9 p.m. are a lot higher than you actually getting in your car and driving to the gas station or through the Sonic drive through because your cupboards are bare. So if you do need to have snacks in the house for the kids, which is debatable and a whole nother topic for a whole nother day, make sure there's snacks you're not gonna wanna get into when those cravings come up. Strategy number two, find a low calorie option that you can snack on that won't derail your whole day. Whether it's just a protein shake, some Greek yogurt, or one of those 100 calorie bags of popcorn, it's better to have a light snack that won't derail your whole day rather than a late night bender. You can find some really good low calorie protein shake recipes, which again, maybe I'll make a video on in the future. But in the meantime, if late night hunger is a serious problem for you, it's probably best you find an option that works for you sooner rather than later. And strategy number three, find your trigger. So I myself struggle with late night cravings just like anyone else and it's almost always after I've had a couple glasses of whiskey and I'm vegging out on the couch. This is why when I'm prepping for a show or just doing a cut I'm serious about, I do my best to avoid overindulging on the jack or watching Netflix for a long period of time. Find out what you're doing when these cravings come up and see what you can do to keep yourself from being in that position. What would you like to see a video on that you're struggling with right now? Reply to this email or drop a comment below and let me know what I can help you out with. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.